What's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. This is going to be another tribute video that I want to do because I have been a massive fanatic of Iron Maiden, who are one of my top favourite bands of all time. I do love Iron Maiden in such high regard. And when I did talk about Iron Maiden more than a few times on this channel, they really do mean something incredibly special. As well as that these guys are still one of the greatest in the history of heavy metal. But sadly, in the afternoon from the 21st of October, we lost a giant in the world of the genre's history. Back in 2013, we lost Clive Burr, who was a tremendous talent and he still is as amazing to listen to for the early part of Iron Maiden's career. But now we lost the former vocalist of Paul Diano at the age of 66. I did not expect this to happen. It's awful. And I know I would say these same words, but I've never felt this shocked in a very long time. Paul Diano's voice was one of the best things in Iron Maiden's music. When I did my re-ranking of their discography, I did put the self-titled debut album at number five. That's how much I love that album. It's near perfection. And even the second album, Killers, is still a very, very good album. The Paul Diano period of Iron Maiden's history was and still is groundbreaking to appreciate loads of audiences to be inspired by many, and they were groundbreaking. Paul Diano's vocals, when I listened to those Iron Maiden albums, were different-sounding vocals. The first album was this raw, fast, punky, attitude type of sound, but that was the start for new audiences to listen to a band that's engaging and electrifying. And Paul Diano's vocals were excellent. His performances vocally on The Killers album were stronger. They were a sign of improvement. His talent was tremendous and so, so big in Iron Maiden's sound. He had the adrenaline, the passion and the excitement that perfectly connected with Iron Maiden's material. Yes, we know and love the longest running vocalist in the band's history of Bruce Dickinson, who replaced Paul Diano after his departure, but the legacy and the memory of Paul Diano still resonated for the band personally, as well as for every single fan all around the world. I will be definitely listening to these two Iron Maiden albums in honour of Paul Diano. One of the most dedicated, hard-working and respected musicians in heavy metal. My heart goes out to his friends, his family and of course the band themselves and the fans. Awfully unexpected, but his legacy will still be shining brightly to deliver a lot of inspiration for any music fanatic. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future. Up the irons!